guys welcome to code decode so in the previous video we have understood what what components how component works what are the component decorators and what are the attributes present in a component decorator that is selector template url style urls and the providers so now it's time to dig in into this template url thing more that which is nothing but a url to this particular file which is a template in the angular terms so what do you really see here is a part of a view of your screen so what you see here is nothing but a result of the html and the angular syntax written in this particular file called as template so what do you see here is nothing but a simple regular html tags the simple html written in a file along with some angular syntax like this this is something i have explained you earlier in the previous videos this is something a tag of a selector of a, another component which is being embedded as a selector in the parent component so what you understand by template is nothing but a simple syntax of angular html and angular syntax so the next big question arises like if this is a component and this is template so if if i show something like a checkbox or a you or a particular in, input box something here how will the data will get transferred from this html file to this component file or if if something is being stored in uh, like database so or something is being stored as a title here how do you actually show this in the html tag so what you can see here is title right so this title is being defined here in the component file but this is being shown here in the html file right so how is actually data being transported from the uh, component file to html and back and forth from html to component so the answer to this particular question that how the data transfer occurs between template and component is through the data binding so basically angular provides you four types of data binding the first is what you can see here that is interpolation second is property binding third is event binding and fourth is two way binding which is a way to get data from template to component and to component back to html so this is how uh, the angular basically maintains the data between the two things the template and the component so let's first understand what is interpolation so interpolation is used for one way data binding in angular framework the interpolation actually moves the data only in one direction that is from our component file which is this file to our template file or the view what we see on the screen so this is how interpol interpolation works whatever you write here in this uh, template uh, in this component will be seen in your view so my first only is being seen here now if if i see my first project so when when i save this file this is going to recompile and you will be able to see my first project so this is the beauty of angular templates and components so you haven't even changed anything in this file but still just a single change in this component file is uh, is able to be viewed or depicted on the angular screen this is the screen so this is how it works so when you just get into this file you will see this interpolation syntax so it's basically something called as smooth state syntax so this is nothing but an expression so what do you think will come if i write 5 plus 5 here so an interpolation is nothing but an expression evaluator so when you save this what you will be able to see here is 10 so this is nothing but an expression which you write here and it's being evaluated when whenever it is being enclosed in the mosted syntax which is nothing but string interpolation so this 10 first, first 5 plus 5 integers are being converted into 10 integer and string interpolation converts it into the string and that is how you see it here so what you see 10 here is not an int or the double or anything it's just a string that is why it is called as string interpolation now this is how string interpolation works so let's get into something an example of how it actually works so let's do one more thing let's let's take this string array of fruits so consider if this particular string array of fruits is coming from something called as database imagine as of now uh, i'll i'll tell you how to create a connection to database 
how to get data how to put data into database so as of now you just consider that these things are coming from database now i want to show these things on my view or the screen as a list so how you how would you do that so let's let, let me tell you so let's just create a unordered list first in an unordered list i will create a ordered ordered list li in ordered list here i will iterate over my array so i will use structural directive ng4 which is a directive used to iterate over my list and i'll tell you all about the directives later in the video so as of now i will create a local variable to iterate over my fruits array so what you see this fruits is my array this is my array what you see here is a local variable which is being defined by a let in with a structural directive so this is how i'm going to iterate over my arrays and now if i want to show that in a ordered list so i'll put a double braces which is moustache syntax for interpolation and i will write fruit which is a local variable and i'll save it now if i go i'll be able to see an a list of all the things which i have given as an argument in the array in my component so mango oranges and grapes and that's how i'm able to see it here so what what did you understand this is simple ul li is simple html tag but what is this ng4 an iteration over an array this is nothing else but the way how angular iterates over something which is defined in a component but you can see on your view so this was all about interpolation next we will understand how the property binding works okay so property binding again is an example of one way data binding where data is again transferred from component to template so what you have seen here was interpolation your data was here but you were able to see it in the view through the template so the data was transferred from component to an html that is the view so again uh, in uh, this property binding is again the same type of uh, data binding where the data is transferred from component to template so why do you think property binding came into picture so property binding is actually used to bind values of dom properties to html element so now please pay heed to what i what i say here that is it is a way to bind values to the dom properties of html element so uh, what is what is an example of html element say consider html element as a button so what will be the button's attribute so what you see here button right and just a second this button so what do you think this button is this button is nothing but an html element and what do you think are the dom properties of this html element say for example this is disable so this is nothing but the property of the dom dom property of this html element this is html element this is dom property so if you want to bind something to the property of this dom then you have to use property binding so that's why the name suggest it's property binding so why not to use interpolation because as i have told you in like earlier like what you do here it's 5 plus 5 10 this is expression evaluation but what what happens when 5 plus 5 is done so it gets converted into 10 but this string interpolation converts it into string so if, but i don't want to get the data in this is disabled like this disabled property as a string data i want this as a property so uh, how how would you tell that please disable or please don't disable so it's basically a boolean decision right so button will be either disabled or not disabled so this is a boolean thing so what i will do here is property binding i will bind it to a property say please disable okay and i will use this please disable as a boolean thing in my component so how do you think i will write this so this is a type of boolean which is initially 
true so i want that please disable my button so here if i go disabled so i can see okay i haven't given a name to this button so i'll say try me so here when i save this file i can see try me button but which is being disabled so this view this is this is the this is the element this is the property and this is the property value so this true and false is being uh, is being taken a decision here in the component so if i say it as false and i save it this is not disabled this is completely enabled button so this is how my component decide how my button in the the, in the template is to be seen so this please disable is a property binding it is being binding the value of being disabled on is not disabled to a property of an element which is an html element so this is how property binding works now consider if i don't use property binding and i use string interpolation so what we have learned is string and this is like this is the syntax of string into uh, this is the syntax of property binding the square bracket so what the square bracket says is whatever is being here uh, like if it is being in enclosed in a square bracket whatever value is given please evaluate that value do not just put here so when angular goes uh, sees this ang uh, square bracket it goes to the value and it tries to evaluate it while evaluating it finds this value in the component and it sees this it's a boolean so it will uh, replace this thing with false or true whatsoever value we give in the component thing so this is how into uh, property binding works now if i say if i use interpolation in the prop binding a property of an element so how how do we write an interpolation thing so we will delete this and we say that please interpolate or evaluate this thing so when i save this now what you see here is this is disabled but what i have given here is false so it says disable as false so even if you disable as true or false the value will always remain false here so this is why we should never ever try to get an a uh, non string value with interpolation because it will convert it into the string so let's remove it and i will put here again the property binding thing with this property binding if i save it i will see it is enabled so whenever you want something in a string format you string interpolation but whenever you want something which is a non string data value never use string interpolation use uh, and if it is a property of a of a, of an element use property binding so this is how property bindings and interpolation works if you have any of these issues issues in any of the both concepts please uh, clear it here and now because further things are going to get more complicated so please let me know if you want this thing in in either in hindi or do you want to explain it more so that's all about interpolation and the property binding